On today's show, more details about the new Chevy Volt, BMW unveils laser headlamps at CES, and why we need those stinking badges. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. Happy New Year! This is the first AutoLine Daily for 2015, and today, of course, is January 5th. And it could be a record year for automakers in North America. Wards reports that 2014 sales in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico are projected to hit 19.4 million units, and production is expected to come in at 16.9 million. That's just a few hundred thousand units shy of the records set in the year 2000. And with analysts predicting strong sales in the U.S. and increased capacity, 2015 could be a banner year. You can always count on Elon Musk for a wild idea. The CEO of Tesla tweeted, and I quote, BTW, we are actually working on a charger that automatically moves out from the wall and connects like a solid metal snake. For reals, end quote. Unfortunately, there isn't any video that shows it working, but it will apparently work with all existing Model S's and future Tesla models. Sounds crazy, but I would not count out Elon Musk. The German luxury brands are in a dogfight to be number one, and now Audi is upping the ante. The automaker announced it's going to spend 24 billion euros over the next five years to develop new products and technologies. That's two billion more than it previously planned to invest. Audi plans to expand its lineup from 50 models to 60 by 2020. Still to come, BMW's laser headlamps, more details on the Chevy Volt, and why we need those stinking badges. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. While at the Paris Auto Show, Alfonso Albaisa, the executive design director for Infinity, told AutoLine that a new Q model would be shown in Detroit. We later learned that that would be the two-door Q60 sports car, and now we know what it looks like. Some of the automakers' now signature Qs make their way over to the concept vehicle, as well as features from the Q80 Inspiration that was shown in Paris. No other details on the car as of yet, but we'll only have to wait a week or so until it hits the Detroit floor. We keep hearing people say that today's cars all look alike. Well, you know what? Maybe they're right. When the new Subaru Legacy came out, we were struck by how similar its front end looks to the Ford Taurus. But when we came across the two of them parked next to each other, it really drove the point home. Do you think the average person could tell these two apart? No way. And that's why we need some stinking badges. The question of the day is, what was Subaru thinking? BMW became the first automaker with laser headlamps on a production vehicle with the i8, and it's already taking them to the next level. At CES, the German automaker will show off a vehicle equipped with intelligent laser lights that are linked to cameras, sensors, and even driver assistance systems. BMW says this will open up the possibility for new functions, and we think that could involve tying the headlamps into the navigation system so the headlamps automatically follow the road even before the driver turns the steering wheel. Say I'm going to be at the Consumer Electronics Show tomorrow, posting hourly reports from the floor of the show. We're going to be interviewing different automakers about the technology that they're unveiling at CES. Keep checking our website, autoline.tv, to stay up with the latest news coming out of the show. The new Chevy Volt makes its official debut next week at the Detroit Auto Show, but the company couldn't wait to show it off and gave it a sneak peek at CES. As you can see, it has a new, more stylish front end, but that's all Chevy would show for now. GM will not release the full details of the new Volt until next week's Detroit Auto Show, but Mark Royce was my guest on AutoLine this week, and he actually gave us some more information about the car, and that's coming right up, right after this. Hey! Hey! Did you have a 
good nap? The Firestone Destination LE2. <laughs> Tough enough to handle anything the road throws at you. Oops. And you throw at it. Durable, dependable Firestone tires. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. The next-gen Chevy Volt makes its debut next week at the Detroit Auto Show. The company's been tight-lipped about the new model, but on the latest Auto Line this week, GM's head of global product development, Mark Royce, shared some details about what we can expect to see. We now know exactly um, how to use the battery, and we know the duty cycle from you know, an incredible basis of Volt customers that we have really put in place incredible feedback mechanisms to know how they use the car, what they really value in the car. Um, don't forget, when we did this the first time, there was a lot of things we didn't know. Um, and now we're getting that. So to be able to use the battery in the next gen Volt uh, in the exact proper way uh, means we can size it right, means we can get the most range out of it, and we can do it at a different pricing scenario than we did with the original car. And that's the whole idea around evolution, development, and uh, satisfying the customer. There's a lot of great info about GM's product development, so if you have not done so already, check out that show on our website or on our YouTube channel. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.